I don't think I ever figured out definitively what I wanted to be, where I wanted to go. I just was riding my bike, having fun the whole time, and ended up here. You know, at some point, I think the switch flipped, so to speak, and I was like, oh, I can make money riding my bike? And then it was on. I just wanted to ride as much as possible, do as much, you know, school shows, BMX shows, whatever. Drove across country to ride contests and back. Like, it's just the most fun I've ever had. Growing up riding, I always seen what everybody else is doing. I'm like, oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. But what have they not done yet, you know? Like, I've always wanted to figure out, growing up, just trying to do new tricks, trying to do something original and creative and something that hasn't been done before. So that's, that's where it all comes from, is doing something not necessarily bigger and better, but different than the other guy. Doing something different and new is, is always, always, always going to be better than doing something somebody else has done before, you know? James Foster, I'm right to think about James is going to take a very big here in this final round. Big Air is kind of good for putting runs together because it's only two jumps, you know? We got the big jump and the big quarter, so it doesn't take a whole lot of, like, planning, but you do have to come in with an idea of what you want to do. That's what I've done the past couple years is, like, go to the contest with no expectations, maybe something in the back of my mind, and then when the contest is already underway, like, during the contest, I'll decide then whether or not I want to do the big hammer run, you know? <laughs> my first gold, 2017 Minneapolis, that run was something I had in my head for like a few months, but I didn't really plan on doing it. And then, you know, at the contest, feeling good, riding good, everything's working. I'm like, ah, oh, this is gonna work, do it. He's picturing his run, he's picturing landing it. I think we're gonna see this right here. Let's see it. Here we go, James Foster, fourth and final run. I had the run in my head, sent it, pulled it, ended up in first, but like, it doesn't really sink in until a few days later, you know? It's just kind of a whirlwind, like, oh my God, I actually did it. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to explain, you know? If you, yeah, it's, it's just, it's pretty amazing feeling. Look at his mindset, he's, just, he's got that drive, he's got that spirit. You know, that's what bike riding has done for us. Everybody's got their zone where they feel like at their best, and it's all about getting to that point before you, before you drop in. It's just game, it's hard work. I think being innovative is probably one of the most important things to BMX. You know, it, it's freestyle. It's all supposed to be about like, you show up, you do what you learn, you know, you ride, have fun, do your thing. Each rider has their own plan, their own trick list. You throw everybody together, you see what happens. That's a contest. And, and to me, that's, that's what it's all about. You have to focus and know you can do what you can do and not let what anybody else says or what anybody else does affect you and what you're doing. You gotta commit to your riding style and be proud of it. You know, not everybody's gonna like your style, but you can't let it get to you, you know what I mean? You just gotta put your head down, keep going, do what you like. And that's what it's about, you know, is, is riding for yourself and having fun. It's freestyle, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter if your bar is too far forward, your seat's too high, whatever, you're not dressed the right way. None of that matters. All that matters is having fun on your bike or your skateboard or whatever and, and doing what you set out to do.